fitting the LEDs and the battery pack. Right, the first step is to take the battery pack and just unclip it open. There's little plus and minus signs on, you might be able to see in the camera. That's the plus sign at the top and there's a negative minus sign at the bottom. Each coin cell has a plus and minus sign on it. There's a plus sign and you put the plus sign facing downwards, so plus to plus. And then you get the other coin cell. The underside of the coin cell is a minus, doesn't say it, that's a plus, the opposite side is a minus. So on this one you put the minus side down, so it goes like that, then you snip, you clip the battery compartment closed. The battery pack has a little on off switch. So that's in the on position now, the off position. And then to test it, I think we've talked about the red and black wires. The red is positive with an LED, the slightly longer leg, there's not much in it, but I'll hold it up to the camera. The slightly longer leg is positive. So that's a positive there at my, my fingers point now, positive, negative. So when you connect the battery just temporarily, red to positive, black to negative, and the rainbow LED lights up. So if you get it the wrong way around, nothing exciting happens. Nothing happens. It doesn't work. Right, the next step is to make two holes in your fabric. So that's the fabric. And this here is called a solder nine, which is very hot. It's 300 degrees, so you don't touch the end. And you just melt your holes through, having worked out previously where your, your eyes are going to go on your creature. And then you need to take two LEDs. Now, the LEDs, would tend to fall through the fabric. So what we're going to do is use a little plastic washer, a nylon washer to be exact, this type of plastic. It's got a five millimeter hole in, and you put the LED through. The LED has got a tiny little shoulder, which you probably can't see, around the edge, and that will just help to hold it in place. Uh, which stops your little uh, eye, your LED poking through. So these are like your eyes. You put the LEDs in the the non fairy side, so the LEDs poke through the fairy side like that. And you do that with the two LEDs. Now, what's important is you make sure you're getting the right way around. So you can possibly just see from the video clip that I've gone, I'll point with my, I'll just point here. So it goes long leg, short leg, long leg, short leg, or positive, negative, positive, negative. You've then got to bend the legs over a little like this. So it might be easier. Keep making sure they don't twist around. So I've bent the two legs over and then the two legs are in the center. We're going to somehow twist those together. So this where it gets a little bit fiddly. So I've just twisted those round with my fingers and those LEDs will hold themselves in place. Now I've still got plus on this side and then minus on the other side. Uh, right, then we also have the battery connector. At this point we could just check see if it works. So I go if I go plus to minus. You should be able to see that the LEDs are lighting up so that's correct. So what I'm going to do is join those together. Now this is a little device called a soldering iron and again we've mentioned it before it gets very hot and you just try and melt a small quantity of solder on the little twisty bit. So solder is a metal, it conducts electricity and it makes a permanent connection. Now what we've got to do now is link the red wire to the positive end and the black wire to the negative end. Now, the wire has got a tiny little burr metal end and so we can sort of make that into a tiny, a tiny little hook arrangement. Might just be able to say I've hooked the end over there, it's only very tiny. And I'll hook that around this leg of the LED. So I've hooked the two together a bit like hooking your sort of fingers together a bit like that. We've just hooked the two ends of the wires together. So I've created a little hook and that will, if you leave it in time, fall off, which has done now. So again, I'll just hook the two around. 
and then it's in mid-air now, it doesn't matter. And I'll just solder that onto there. So you just melt some liquid solder. It turns to a liquid, then within a second it's turned back to a solid and that will forever hold itself in place. And then this end of the little LED chain, which is a negative, we're going to solder on the black wire. So again, I'll get my black wire, which has got a burr metal end. I'll bend that into a tiny little hook. And I've already created a hook on this end. And I'll just hook the two hooks together so you can see it's actually working at this point. So again, if you were to get the wires crossed, it would not, would not work. Then we take the solder again. So this is a metal. It's a low melting point, relatively low melting point. Most metals melt at a much higher point. You might know mercury, for example, is liquid at room temperature as is gallium, but body temperature. So this melts at about 300, which is still pretty hot, but as far as metals are concerned, it's quite a low melting point. And so that is your soldering done. So your template here, your sheet of fabric would be cut out. We're going to use probably gaffer tape, which is stronger. I've got some masking tape here. So we use a little piece of gaffer tape uh, just to hold that down. Uh, and this will all be on the inside of your character, your creature, monster. So you don't, you don't see any of it, it's, it's on the inside. So gaffer tape will stick it a little bit better. And then when you turn your creature monster over, that will be cut, your creature monster will be cut out. And you see the eyes look quite nice and you can just sort of part the fur a little bit if, if needs be. And then that will be the shape of your character. And then that later on will be sewn together. Uh, and the battery pack we'll be able to take out and change. So I'll just, we've got two minutes, a few minutes ago, I'll just repeat that really quickly. So you get a, a battery pack, you open the battery pack, you look for the plus sign, you take a battery or a coin cell to be precise, you look for the plus sign on that and put the plus sign face down, so plus to plus. Similarly, you take your second coin cell, that plain side is the negative side, the minus, and a minus sign in the battery pack, and you put that in the battery pack as well. Uh, so they're opposite ways. And then it goes click, shut. You can switch it to the on position. Obviously on this one, we can switch it to the off position. That's on. You should be able to see that flashing and that switched it off. Right, the process with the two LEDs are this. You get the LED, you put it into a washer and you put it into your hole. Obviously you're only gonna have one pair of LEDs, one single set of eyes. I'm just gonna do it twice here to show you. So you get the LED again, you put it through uh, the hole, you bend the legs over. Now again, you've got to make sure that you've got the plus and minus signs the correct way around. So I was going from working from this side, I went long leg plus, short leg minus, long leg plus, short leg minus. And we twist the two together. like so, so your LEDs can be a reasonable distance apart. So I think we're going to possibly glue these washers on, we'll see how it works out when you do it. Glue these washers in place with a plastic uh, glue, so it holds them in place a bit better. Right, that's just some both poked through. Then we get the uh, wire, Melt some solder on there. Melt some solder on. You just melt some solder in the middle. You get your bit of wire. Another way to do it is without forming the hook. If you melt a little blob of solder on here, like this, and just lay it on your LED and melt it on really quickly, it only takes about a second for it to go from a, a liquid and back to a solid. You've got to hold still whilst it turns back to a solid. It melts at about 200 degrees C and this solder line gets it to a little over 300 degrees C. So within a second it's cooled down, it's still hot, but it's turned back to uh, a solid again. And I've switched the battery connector on and uh, that's it. And then lastly, just cover that, cover that up with tape. So you'll have, just have one set of eyes, not two. And I'll switch to the back, pack of batteries on. And that's our two uh, sets of eyes blinking away their rainbow LEDs. Okay, that's it.